I'm going to show you the new uh, Google dashboard. If you manage local businesses, uh, when you go in to view your profile and get to the new Google menu that's over here on the left, um, and you go to your pages, which is where you should see all of your clients, you'll notice a white box at the very top that says, Managing multiple locations? Use Google My Business Locations. So when, I, when you click that, it takes you to this kind of intermediary page where there's a bunch of information to to sell you on it but as if you needed selling then even though this this talks a little bit about it it gives some information but it's pretty darn easy to figure out all you do is click down here where it says get started adding multiple locations and lo and behold all your businesses will be there now I'm gonna put a big I, I put this big blur in the area so you you really couldn't see what what the addresses were because I think I'm gonna share this so these status things, when I first got in here last Friday, there were there were actually five data conflicts. So I had five of the 23 clients that are in here uh, did have some data conflicts. It didn't mean that their listings weren't live. Um, it just meant that there were some irregularities that, that we hadn't caught. And uh, frankly, there's a there's a glitch in here, which which I won't I won't really get into. But the 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 situation is um, and I verified this on the phone with Google right now in this area. Um, Boulevard B L V D and Boulevard B O U all all spelled out. Um, the two are not actually being seen as the same item. Our actual listing for this client does have it spelled uh, B L V D, which is how the USPS recommends you do it. But in this particular case, um, the Google listing that exists out there says Boulevard, and and it, it, it's a long story. But anyway, overall, you can see the status of all your clients. Um, you can click by status. the the uh, potential The potential options here. I, I've only seen data conflict or live. I haven't. I, I have. Uh, I had one item change to pending after I fixed the data conflict. It changed from pending for for a very brief time and was back in live status immediately. Um, the neat thing is over here. Um, if you if you see this area here, it says missing store code, and I am I, I figured out that. All of the ones that have existing store code, existing numeric store code, are the ones that came over from clients that existed uh, long, long ago. The ones who had the the old, old, old Google dashboard for local business uh, before it was even Google Places. And then the one that stuck around for Google Places for so long while we were waiting for the upgrades to what we thought were the new dashboards. Um, so all those old, old businesses have been assigned uh, store codes out of that system. The new businesses, um, anything added in the last couple of years for us had absolutely no store codes. Now I did go in and and add. So I wanted to get. I was trying to get rid of these errors, so I did go in and add store codes. And it's pretty easy to do. All you do is is uh, click into one that's click into one that's missing a store code, and you'll see an exclamation point in there where you can very easily just make one up. I would point out that there's a couple of little glitches here. Um, first off, this this option here, when I go to download it, if I hit, I wanted to download all this information, so I hit download and it says downloaded zero locations. It gave me a blank sheet to download. So what I wanted to do was actually download everything, so I checked them all. Notice as soon as I check even one, that download box disappears. Now, that will let me delete it, that will let me edit that particular one, but it will not let me download. Um, kind of weird. So when when you go to download, it says downloaded zero. The, it admits the location because they have data from other sources. Now that when I was on the phone with the rep from Google, I asked him what those other sources might be. He had no idea. In fact, that other the rep on the phone that I talked to had no idea that this dashboard even existed uh, for my business. Um, I logged into a couple of other Google accounts that only managed uh, one managed five businesses. It was a five location business owner for which I'm actually uh, a manager here. And I logged into another one where there was only one or two and, and neither of them were offered option here to, uh, to manage multiple locations. So I suspect that uh, if you're not seeing this, box then you probably don't have more than 10 businesses in your business location and you and you can't get here
you can though go to google.com slash local slash manage and if you've got more than 10 you should be able to get in and see everything and if you don't it'll probably tell you that you need to have more that's it have an optimal day